Howdy, howdy kids. Rev Hogman here. I uh, just uh, dropped my mom off at Walmart. She's going shopping for a couple hours. Got to pick her up at noon. And uh, just uh, thought I'd uh, do a Hogman moment on my way home. Uh, much love and respect to all my friends and family and uh, brothers and sisters out there. Let me turn this. Uh, again, Christmas is upon us. You know, uh, and uh, it's really important to remember the reason for the season. You know, uh, there, there's there, there's there's not much money this year for presents and stuff like that. It's it's just the reality of uh, everything that's going on in the world. Uh, I think everybody's having a little bit of a struggle. Uh, I sure have got my heaping plate loaded full of it for the last few years but uh, struggles and strife and but you know what that just makes us stronger in the end and I just got to keep my eye on the end just to just remember that uh, that, that remember that uh, your rewards aren't of this world your rewards aren't of this world you know I just uh, stay focused and uh, trust that uh, I know that I know that I know and trust that God has a has a, a bigger plan than the one we see. You know, it's, it's live by live by, uh, by by faith and not by sight. You know, and know that in the end, in the end, it'll all work itself out. You know. And you're going through what you're going through because that's what you need to be going through. <coughs> you know, nothing more, nothing less. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Because that's where you're supposed to be. You know? This pains and struggles in all of our lives, you know? Like, I mean, I've just gone through a series of uh, spinal injections... You know, and I don't know whether anybody's had them in the spine before. They're not the same. You know, I said this to Rhonda the other day. She, she was talking about some people she knew that had injections in their knees and elbows and it had helped. Um, you got to understand, this is going right into my spinal column. <laughs> this is going, this is, this is not going into my hip or my, or my, my, my shoulder, or, you know, uh, it's going directly into my central nervous system, into where my spinal fluid is, and uh, one mess up and I could be paralyzed for the rest of my life, that's just the reality of where they have to do these shots, um, because of the spinal damage I have from 25 years ago. You know, when I broke my back, uh, well, even 25 years ago, it was like 20, 20, 22, almost 23 years ago. Matthew was just a baby. You know, the, pretty much the first year of his life, I only picked him up on occasions. Normally when I was sitting down and what my back was braced and I wasn't moving, you know. Pretty well the whole first year of his life was like that. Um, but, uh... It is what it is, right? Oh, I'm gonna take a right turn here. I'm gonna turn right. Change of change of direction. Caught a red light. This red, late light normally takes a while, so I just take another route. Kind of like recalibrating my uh, GPS. So, anyways, uh, much love and respect. Uh, always remember the reason for the season. Jesus is always the reason for the season. Remember what he did for us. You know, here I am, a sinner saved by grace. You know, he paid a debt he didn't know for a sinner who couldn't pay his debt. <laughs> for many sinners who couldn't pay their debts. Each one of us. Just remember that. You know? Just keep Christ in the in, in the Christmas, you know. You'll notice that whenever I post anything, I always capitalize Christ in Christmas. Always have, always will. That way, it's a constant reminder of where where I got to be at this time of year. You know, we've had Christmases where 
you know, like when, when I was doing really, really well years ago, um, we had Christmases and we'd spend, you know, like 10 grand at Christmas and, you know, and it would be, it would be ridiculous, you know, it'd be ridiculous. And this year we're going to spend very little, very little, if anything, uh, we're going to spend this Christmas. And you know what? It isn't going to be any different than any other Christmas. I, I just pray and hope that my son understands. I mean, when I was a young man, when we first came to Canada, um, we came in 1972, I was an immigrant. Yeah, see, I'm an immigrant too. A lot of you didn't know, well, some of you did, but a lot of you didn't know that. But I came to this country with nothing, with suitcases. You know, well, you may have came from England, but it's no different than any other country that uh, 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 has... Uh, this country is led in and, and uh, op with open arms and uh, provided uh, uh, a place to call home, a land, to, a, a land that's uh, beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful country we live in. It's just a shame that we're wrecking it. You know, I mean, it's, uh, in '72 when we arrived here, it was a lot different. Population of the world was just over. Four billion. Now it's over eight billion. It's doubled in uh, 40, 42 years. April eighteenth will be forty-three years that I've been. Uh, actually, it's forty-three. It'll be forty-four years that I've been in Canada. Wow. I must be old. But I remember landing in Canada. I remember getting off that plane. I remember being that scared little kid, eh? You know. I have a lot of PTSD from that. I mean, I was just a little man. We moved from one country to another and with nothing. You know? My heart kind of goes out for these Syrians. But we really need need to screen them properly. If we, I, I, I never say turn our... Nobody ever leaves my house hungry. I, I've, always, I've always managed to find something for somebody to eat. I've always had that model, you know? I think we should take care of the other people of the earth, but I think we should all do it uh, safely. Especially when there's people that are sneaking in there, and I'm not saying that, 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 that there are any particular... You know what? I don't look at whether they're uh, Christian, Muslim. It doesn't matter. They're, they're, they're terrorists. <laughs> you know? I don't, su I, don't, I don't support what they do just like I don't support anything that Westboro Baptist Church does. You know? I don't think it's, it's right that they do that either. But, but, but we need to screen them. We definitely do. You know, because the reality is there's some that are sneaking in in between. And, and they've got to understand that, that if they're peace-loving people, that we've got to screen them out. We have to. We have to make sure that uh, we're, we're not letting uh, people in that are, are not a positive uh, influence on this country or are coming here to cause problems or, or, or uh, um, you know, do horrendous things to, to our people. Um, I mean, we got to play safety. Uh, I mean, I love all people. And, and, and I mean, everybody knows that. I love all people. I don't matter what color you are. <laughs> it don't matter what religion you are. I love all people. You know, I am what I am. I know what I am. And I stand firm on the rock. But I love on all God's people. Whether they love on him or not, that's not that, that, that's between them and God. You know, I'm sure Jesus, if Jesus was here, he wouldn't be throwing rocks and causing all kinds of problems. But I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to his return in righteousness. You know, he's going to come back with a righteous anger. He'll sort, of sort all this out. No worries. Have faith. Much love and respect. And you just had coffee with the bishop.